Hello everyone, this is Just K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Chaos the Abyss 100%. In the last part, we were basically chased out of Vatical by the soldiers, and we found out that, you know, Natalia is really not a princess. Luke, of course, we already knew, is not really the uh, Duke. Heiress, or what, heir, or whatever the heck they call him. So we found out all this, and we had to leave Vatico because they were going to kill us to start the war. And, oh man, oh man, oh man, did the citizens of the town really show their true colors as they came to the defense of Natalia and the rest of the party? And apparently, Guar's group told them all about it. I'm guessing that's exactly what they meant by when they said the circus people, because there are really no other circus people in this game. And now, we have to escape to the Bat, uh, and this the Marsh. Why? Well, that's the only place we can go. As far as where we're gonna go after we get out of and this the Marsh, no one knows. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Huh? See what I did there? <laughs> Anyways, let's go on. This is the Anista Marsh right here. And take a few steps in, and there we go. We're gonna get a seat. I hope Ash is alright. He'll be fine. The people of Kimlaska are on his side. Yes, all those people, just for my sake. You can express your thanks by saving Aldrit. We're the only ones who know this world is in danger. Yes. Where does the marsh lead? Belkind, I think. Let's first meet up with Ash there. Belkind is Duke Faber's territory. We'll have to stay sharp. I know. There's something scary about this marsh. Let's pray we don't run into any nasty monsters. Nasty monsters? Whatever are you talking about? There's no nasty monsters in here. Quit trying to scare everybody, Jade. But anyways, first things first, you'll notice that you move extra fucking slow in this area. I don't know why they did it like that, but come over here and get a tall war, which I think is an upgraded weapon for Luke. Yes, it is. Uh, do we have a Wasi? Yeah, we do have a Wasi up here, right here on him, so never mind. I should say it's an upgraded weapon for Luke and... Uh, what's his ass? Luke and, uh, Guy. Alright, now you want to come over here and get into a fight with this monster. Hmm, got a new enemy, two new enemies. First things first, let's get a magic lens. Thankfully, you're restocked up on those. And we get a purbit. Uh, I'm guessing it's that called that because it's a purple rivet. Basically, a reskin of the original rivet. With more, deep, more stats and annoying poison abilities. Um, I don't think... This has anything important. What I'm actually going to try to do now is, like, when I get a new enemy, I'm going to try to find them on my list so I can tell you if they have anything to steal. In the case of the permit, nah, there's nothing here you can steal. However, the other enemy we have over there is a Borlet. So I'll tell you about what you can steal from this guy in just a second. We may also have to lower our difficulty. Uh, because I'm thinking these enemies are going to hit hard. But now the Borland. This basically works like the, uh, Lesser Pan in the... that we met in South Ruins. Uh... It is fast, and it can hit pretty decently. But, the Borland... You can drop a Mezjorin fish, and you can also steal a Mezjorin fish from it, so there you go. Alright. I would say probably take out the Permits, they're more annoying. However, if your goal is to decrease your numbers, you would be better off focusing on the, uh, warlets. Haha! 
one was loaded. Battle's barely over and she's already got the money. Leave it to Annis. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that that's one of the ones you can get. Um, I don't know if there's any way to, like, manipulate the, uh, the after battle quotes or not. But what she said is, wow, this one was loaded. And Luke says, battle's already over barely even over she's already got the money and then tear says leave it to annis oh who who cannot love annis i know there are a lot of people who don't love annis i looked at the comment section in prince boo's uh let's play of this oh yeah natalia's future uh you get this after you get into a battle here natalia looks pretty down you can't blame her recent events have proven to be too great of a shock I guess we just have to let her sort her feelings out. We should probably consider what to do on the other hand once we reach once we reach Belkin. It could be better for her not to travel with us anymore. But how come? We'll have to eventually meet with King Eobard again. If the king should reject Natalia, that could be an even greater injury to her psyche. Oh, it is, of course, a decision that Tai will have to make on her own. And yeah, you actually want to take the northwestern path first, which is the one I'm about to take. I, I'm just checking here to make sure notes. All right, like always, I'm just going to be checking my notes. Don't want to forget that you do want to go this way. And come around over here to get a new enemy. This looks like fun. Two new enemies. We got a Per Wiggle and a Mercat. Mercat, of course, is of the Murfish variety of and of enemies. And the Mercat can drop a Mejioran fish or a giant fish bone. You can also steal a Mejioran fish from it. Also, keep in mind that it is resistant to water. You're not going to want to use water on it. Hey, I think Tyr just finally learned her ability that she can steal with. I'll have to check it after this battle. And then the Purwiggles are actually really not that threatening. Uh, Purwiggles drop gel base. You can't steal anything from them. They are not weak to water. However, if you hit with water, it makes it stronger. Likewise, it isn't weak to fire, but if you hit it with fire, it'll make it weaker. So basically the uh, goal of this is if you hit this thing with water, hit it with fire to get it back to where it was. I don't know what get, getting stronger does, how it raises the stats or whatever. But I'm pretty certain that's what it does. It just raises like the attack and defense or something. The earth bring forth the fangs of the mighty dragon. <laughs> Honestly, though, you really, hey, you stole as you were fish. You shouldn't have any difficulties with these enemies in here as long as you are not letting them surround you. And you are not using what they're strong against. Hey, hey, she actually used healing on somebody that wasn't a little. I believe we only have four, uh, three more enemies in here. Well, you did your best. 
Actually, I think we have three enemies. I think there's only two more, uh, three more enemies we haven't seen, because I think there's only seven enemies in this area. But, uh, let me check the ability, the art I just got with here. Yes, it is! I want to put a green, um... I want to put a green... I want to put a grass chamber on it. The more she uses Banshee Sorrow, the more like the more chances she'll have to. Steal it. I... Oh, there it is. Night Helm. Like, I know there's an item over here somewhere. Alright. Jeez Louise. Whoa! I lied. There's four more enemies we have to run into in here. This looks like fun. This is a rotting treant. Uh, resist the earth, so like I said, don't use earth attacks. Uh, this guy can really do some damage. Uh, it is, does have anything it will drop, it does have anything you can steal from it. So just an FYI. I have to use up a little bit longer, and while well, I get this drink. Vaguely, the Roddy Triant is not nearly as powerful as the Snow Triant we saw on the way to, uh... Oh, yeah, it's not nearly as, uh, powerful as the, uh, Snow Triant we saw on our way to, uh, Ketterberg. And it might behoove you to uh, use a mystic art on it. You most certainly don't have to use a mystic art on it. But like I said, it'd behoove you to. Ooh, it gave pasta. Who's cooking right now? I think it's Jay. I think Jade's cooking this. Yes, he is. Alright, we want to go west, but there's a new enemy over here, so let's get it. This looks like fun. Oh, two new enemies. That's right. We have the Elder Boar, and we have the Borig. Oops, I meant to use it on the uh, Elder Boar, whatever. Um, the only thing you can get from the boar rig is a firewood bug, which is a very rare, like, synthesis item, I guess you would say. And you can give it to, uh, Din. And those are its stats, so I hope you had a good look at them. Wait until my thing allows me to come back, and then we're gonna use the... Magic lands on the Elder Boar. The Elder Boar is a little bit better for you. It can drop sketchy beef, and it also can, you can also steal rat big meat from it. So, some decent drops. And now there's only one enemy. Oh, Yeah, it's actually 
actually better to try to like isolate these enemies. Alright, now we want to go all the way over here to the west. I think we're going to get a seat. Rude enemy, I'm over here trying to uh, read my notes and then it wants to attack me. Alright, there's a treasure chest over there and there's also this enemy we're going to get to a fight with here. Oh, what's going on? What is it? About that nasty monster that Jade mentioned. It looks like it's more than just a rumor. Is there something here? It's an old story, but they say that a violent monster in these parts used to attack travelers. They sent teams to exterminate it multiple times. They never succeeded. So they instead trapped it inside the marsh by planting flowers that it didn't like. I thought it was just a story, but you saw those flowers, right? You're saying that story's real? What? It should be dead by now, right? We can hope. Hey, what's up, guys? You called for me? No. No way! Is that the monster you were talking about? We'll gain nothing from fighting that creature now. I doubt we could defeat it in our present state anyway. We should avoid any confrontations with it as we pass through the marsh. Why are you so certain we can't defeat it? If you could beat it by brute force, other teams would have taken it out already. Exactly. For now, let's run. We know it doesn't like Reflessia, Pollen. We can use that fact to make it through the marsh. Okay, and if it does catch up to us, we run immediately. Understood. Indeed, that is what we want to do. Also, I'm going to make it so that my camera was the way it was before. Now. Enemies. The behemoth. Just hey. As Jade said, you won't gain anything from defeating it now. We could. I just have to drop it to uh, English. Uh, English. Wow. I just have to drop it to, uh... Gotta run away while it's lost track of us. Run away! What was that monster? Don't shot like that. It might still be looking for us. Boo! I can't believe I got scolded by Luke. I have to admit, I'm surprised that it actually existed. We can't beat this, can we? I doubt it. For now, we'll have to use Reflessi upon to keep it at bay while we escape. All the way through this huge marsh? Huh? Natalia, are you okay? Don't worry. I'm fine. Okay. Remember, if we encounter the monster again, we don't fight. We run. Now let's go. Back into the battle. But as Jade was saying, we could fight it now as long as I drop the difficulty oh down to normal. And we could beat it. Without a que without question, we could beat it. But you don't want to beat it now. You gotta run away while it's lost track of us. Uh, this is annoying. We have no choice. Of the earth. All right, and now we want to go over here.
and you want to follow it to these treasure chests. One thing I should probably point out regarding the uh, permit enemies. Oh yeah, by the way, in this chest you get 5,600 gold, which is good. Because we're going to need it. And over here, we get the Mystic Rod, which is a great upgrade for tier. Actually, we're going to get the Mystic Rod to... Anis instead. It is a great upgrade for Tyr, but I like having the Genius Rod on her because it ups her Phonic attack more, and she's not much of a physical attacker. But soon enough, we will be getting a weapon that's a better upgrade for what she's got. Oh, wow. Game's lagging. Anyways, I think we want to come over here. You don't want to go this way yet. We want to go to that save here, but I'm going to come over here anyways because I want to get this treasure chest so I don't have to come back in here later to get it. Oh, it'll be a little bit easier to do it later. And I'd rather just not have to backtrack my way all the way over here. Yeah, it'll be good because eventually this behemoth enemy won't be in here. Ah, Tyr died. So for now, I'm going to take Tyr out. Oh, she's got disease. I'm actually going to have Natalia... ...use Recover... ...on Anis there. And then we're going to use a Life Bottle on Tyr. So in that battle, actually another battle with that behemoth before, Anna says, my, this thing looks tough. To which Jake replies, come now, the worst that can happen is we all die. <laughs> and he's right. Oh, they. Anyways, let's go over here and save it. But can we make it out of the Anista Marsh and defeat this behemoth enemy? Find out next time on Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. This is Joseph K. signing out. Y'all have a great day. Keep it real. Later.